Hello, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Coffee. It's a cool day out, though very sunny. So it's nice and warm in the sun, but there's a cool breeze. It's perfect. Uh, great time to get a coffee, so make sure you have yours. I'm still drinking uh, coffee I got from Vital Protein. It's very good stuff. Today we're going to talk about fighting the opposition. That sounds intense. Uh, you would think I'm talking about your competition at the race. I am not. What I'm talking about is, unfortunately, uh, for whatever reason, when you set a pretty lofty goal for yourself, for instance, if you don't normally run or exercise at all and you say, I want to go out and do a, sh a short obstacle course race, that's a pretty lofty goal. Or if you're someone who's done a few obstacle course races and you're like, I want to go and do a long one or an ultra or something, that's a pretty lofty goal. And the work that goes into it takes a lot of time and dedication. Unfortunately, there are people out there who will We'll say demean the process. I hate the term haters. <laughs> I despise that term. It's used so loosely and so it's just people just abuse the term. Like if anyone criticizes them all, they're like, oh, you're a hater when maybe they have a valid point. But there are going to be people along your way as you start to eat healthier, as you start to exercise more, as you start to take care of your body and set loftier goals for yourself who are going to make uh, random snide remarks. It happens to me, honestly. Uh, they're going to ask why, like, oh, why would you go and do that? Even though maybe sitting in front of a TV for hours a day is way crazier because there's no benefits to it and it's only detrimental to your body, but there are benefits to going out and running for a few hours a day or something. So um, there are going to be people who are against you out there maybe because they want to be able to do it. A lot of times people are looking for permission for things, so they want permission to do what they've always done to not do anything, and so they want you to not do anything because then that gives them permission not to do anything. But when you do something, that means they no longer have that permission or excuse. It means they have to recognize in themselves that they're not doing maybe what they should be doing or what they could be doing or something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be obstacle course racing, Whatever it could be. I've encountered it randomly at times. Little, little, like, oh, he doesn't eat that. Like, yeah, I don't eat that. It's junk. Why would anyone eat that? <laughs> or, oh, yeah, actually, I do eat that. Just very rarely because it's junk. I like it, but it's junk. So I get it every once in a while, but not all the time. There are going to be those people out there. And what you need to do, one, find people who are in your group with similar interests to you. That doesn't mean you have to get rid of everyone else. I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, get rid of all the toxic people, but they define toxic so loosely that you don't even, like, is it, if someone just doesn't want to do fitness and you want to, do you get rid of them because you want to and they don't? Pro no. If they were constantly berating you about it, maybe you're like, man, just shut up, but... <clears throat> Get people around you who have similar ideas. That doesn't mean get rid of everyone else by any stretch of imagination. I have friends who have no interest in doing any of the stuff I do. Everyone can benefit from fitness. So fitness or at least physical activity, I should say, should be a part of everyone's life to some degree or extent to keep them healthy. But the type of races we do, like, they're not necessary. You don't have to do them to stay healthy. They're just a fun way to do it, and a lot of people just fall in love with it. And it's a good challenge, and challenges are always important, but there's all sorts of ways you can challenge yourself. So if they're just staying physically active and challenging themselves in other ways, good for them. That's awesome. Seriously, that's awesome. But if they're coming after you because you're doing it a different way, maybe that's not good. Now, here is a distinguishing feature you need to keep in mind. Everyone always likes to hold one side of something and hold on to it real tight because no one likes to be told that they're wrong or that they should change or anything like that. If you are into OCR and it's consuming your life and you have a family or friends or obligations that you're neglecting because you're putting so much time into OCR, that's not a good thing. So if someone comes to you and is like, hey, you know, if one of your family members comes to you and is like, hey, it'd be nice if you'd spend some time with us instead of constantly ditching us for training, 
you should probably listen to that. doesn't mean they're a hater. doesn't mean they're the negative voice in your head. Maybe you need better balance there. And honestly, a balance is where you're going to achieve the best results. It is the few and far between who are 100% go, go, go all the time on a goal who succeed at it and maintain success long term. And you'll see that in professional athletes sometimes and almost always, uh, in almost all the cases that I know of which traditionally revolve around football, basketball, because those are the only two sports I follow and I don't even really follow basketball, I just hear a lot about it. Uh, people mention later on how they have to rebuild relationships after the fact. So maybe the goal was worth it to them, but their relationship suffered. So, you know, there are two sides to every coin. If someone's coming to you to talk to you about something that's completely different than if they're just berating you or trying to, trying to put you down, even though you have no reason to be put down for like aspiring to be healthier and more active and take on challenges. Oh, a motorcycle. Stay mentally strong about it. Just because people think it's silly doesn't mean it is. People think a lot of things are silly that are awesome and people love a lot of things and think they're awesome when they're really stupid <laughs> or destructive or unhealthy or whatever. Stay mentally strong. Find people who like the similar things so you can get encouragement for that thing. Um, if you can train with someone who holds a similar view or talk to someone about training who holds uh, the same aspirations or types of goals as you do, that's really helpful for people. It really encourages them and getting encouragement is important. I'm more of a... Uh, my inspiration is from inside. I just, I just feel the need to do things and outside forces don't play a lot of a factor or don't have a lot of factor on me do they do to a certain extent but i know of people who are affected far more by the extrinsic extrinsic intrinsic intrinsic internal extrinsic is that the right word whatever the right word is i'm blanking on it right now you get the point um, if you're affected more by external things then surround yourself with more things that are positive. If you are affected, if you are more of an intrinsic uh, person and you have doubts inside, that's something you got to work through. But anyway, don't let people put you down for working hard, for striving for more, for getting physically fit, for if you're overweight for losing weight, if you're underweight for putting on weight, if you know, whatever. Don't let people get you down. Don't let negative voices get you down. Doesn't mean completely get rid of them out of your life. Um, maybe they just need to see the error of their ways and change. Or maybe you're going too hard, or maybe you're being a jerk, or maybe you're pushing people away and you need to see the error of your ways. There's a fine balance between everything. In all senses, fight the opposition. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully that was inspiring. I watched a lot of YouTube videos uh, when I was in college, <laughs> just had inspirational speeches in the background as I did homework because I hated, hated homework. Uh, and I'm not as good an inspirational speaker as they are, but the truth and the reality of it stays the same. What I said is true. It's what you should do. It's going to be beneficial for you. So go ahead and do it. Uh, that's it for today's coaching coffee. So I will catch you next time.